Okay, so I kind of got to speed it up and talk it fast on this review because I had uploaded my other, my review of this um, video already, my review of the show already, and I forgot that the girls got copyrighted. I'll tell you about this shit in another review, but I'm just going to go ahead and get to it. Um, I'm a little upset because I have to do this over again, but here we go. Boom, cat, let's go. So the episode started off with Apollo. He was, you know, he posted a video on Instagram. Thanks for holding me down. Hey, B.O.B., hold me down. And uh, meanwhile, Phaedra on the other side of town, she's down there um, saying, the, uh, uh, throwing the prayer crop around, Lord, my Jesus, Lord, my Popeye's chicken. Get your Popeye's chicken. And she's just, you know, going crazy. She got the two bodyguards. She got her um, her assistant, Kalekalekale, whatever her name is. So they go over to the house and, you know, they get the bags in and Apollo, you know, she just, Apollo just left this big, this big, um, uh, negative energy. And I think I need to invite some people over because we have to, you know, talk about this, you know, just get this energy out of my home, out of my home, because I'm nervous. And he done said some stuff to Aiden. He basically told Aiden Apollo, apparently that, um, daddy was going away. He's never coming back or somebody's trying to shoot daddy or, I don't know. Daddy's at the strip club or whatever it was. Aiden started busting out crying. And um, Phaedra talking about she's going to have to get like um, counseling for the little boy and stuff. Um, He's only four. I think eventually he will get over it. It's just hard for him right now. Um, Yeah. And of course, the little one, he's, you know, too little to understand. But yeah, he'll be fine. He don't need counseling, just in my opinion. But whatever. I don't have any kids. And so boom, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Here we go. So moving on to the next scene, we have Candace and Todd. Todd is coming back from L.A. Uh, working on Hollywood Divas or whatever the hell he was doing or working on some lady. And, you know, she comes in. He don't even act like he don't want to give her a hug, but he gives her a hug. Don Juan and Carmen is in the room and they sitting around talking. And he basically made um, a statement talking about little cocker spaniel legs having sex. I uh, made a reference because apparently Todd is going to be the next guest on Candy Code at night. And so Candace basically was like, hey, boo, how you been and all this? And look, I think we need to go to couples therapy um, simply because we're not getting it in. And we're trying to have this baby. And I still want that tucker dick, but you're not giving me that tucker stroke. And so I need to know what's really going on. So I was just like, really, ma? Really? I mean, I don't even know what you're talking about. Candace was like, you know what the fuck I'm talking about, nigga? Like, you're not giving it to me. Like, I want it. And like, what is going on? Like, Honestly, like we should go to couples therapy. He was like, "Well, you really ain't no Rihanna." I'm just saying. And she was like, "Hey, you ain't no Itris Elba, nigga. Itris Elba. You ain't no Itris Elba. Okay, who the hell are you supposed to be? What you mean? What you trying to say? Don't, don't, yo, don't, don't come for the kid. Don't do it." And so it was just like, "Look, will you marry me? If you had to do it all over again, would you marry me?" He was like, "Um." I'm down for the cause. I'm with you, mom. But that didn't answer the question, sir. Will you marry her again? Hmm. Questions. What is Todd doing? I'm trying to be there and hold you down, Todd. I don't know. You're fucking up. So we're moving on to the next scene. We got Cynthia, Kenya, and Claudia. Hashtag the pretty gang. And um, all the girls are just pretty much going wine tasting and eating cheese and hard crackers and stuff. And of course, Cynthia still spills the beans about freaking Claudia. Uh, not Claudia. Phaedra. Damn, um, texting Mr. Chocolate said Peter got the text messages. Kenya, she called me a whore. No, she discredited my name. She made people, you know, Kenya's amazing. And, um, I like that jumpsuit, by the way. Work, Kenya, work, eat fish. Yes, real hair. All right. So, um, they send around and they're talking and Kenya's showing out and Cynthia comes over and consoles her and basically Kenya stopped crying. She was like, well, is it true? Do we, do we know for a fact that this shit is true? And she was like, I don't know. But all I know is Peter got the, he, Peter saw the actual printed out text messages. You know, I didn't or whatever. And so it's like, okay, whatever. So, um, Candy goes over to talk to Phaedra. Apparently Candy haven't really been talking to Phaedra like that, but Candy has her own shit going on. Candy's trying to see if her man, she know her or not. And so she got her own things going on. She ain't got time to be bothered with, um, Phaedra and, and all this going on with over there at their house. So all you can do is pray for the girls at this point and keep it moving. Um, so Phaedra's a little salty about that. She brings up the fact that Nene is actually her rock, been th her rock through this whole damn situation. Goodbye, Lanithia. And Candy was like, look, 
You can do what you want to do. Use a grown praying woman. But I take Lanethia Leaks and baby steps. And she was like, why would she say that? You know, I don't know, um, Phaedra, because like a couple of seasons ago, Nene claimed that she didn't even know who the hell you were prior to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Basically, she talked down to you and basically made it seem like you was beneath her. She was really hateful to you. And all of a sudden, y'all best friends, it's a sad day. But Lanethia Leaks and Phaedra Parks are good friends because ain't nobody fucking with Nene. That's the real tea. Nene ain't got nobody to hang with. Remember when it was the small against the tall? So it's so interesting how tides change. And this is very interesting. Karma is something, I tell you. And so Candy was just like, okay, um, whatever. So uh, Phaedra invites uh, the people over there to bless the house to get all the demons, the bad demons out the house. And they looking like um, Jaiman Hansu, the man in 20 years, and um, the woman looking like um, Diane Carroll, Eve Bayou, pineapple thief. So, you know, they come over and bless the house and the little Aiden boy, he offered them a cracker. I don't eat sweets. You don't be that mean to no damn child, sir. So, um, uh, let's get straight to the, um, sit down session that last, um, scene. So all the girls are sitting down, they're having moments. And, um, I think it was Cynthia who was sitting down first and Candace walked in, then Kenya and Claudia. Kenya's dress was everything that, that green velvet, um, plush, I don't know what material it was, but it was snatched. I think it was velvet. It was beautiful. Kenya's a beautiful woman. She's just bad shit, but you know, hashtag team 12. They follow me on Twitter and I follow them back. Yes, God. Come on, followers. So, um, they're sitting down and everything. And then um, Nene and Phaedra walks in together. It was like, hmm. Everybody's asking where the hell Phaedra was. Porsche ain't heard from her. Candace ain't heard from her. And it was just like Phaedra was knuckling it up with Lanethia. Very interesting once again. Um, so, basically, Cynthia was like, look. Um, yeah. Well, here's the thing. I mean, yeah, I heard there was some things going on and whatever. Everybody was like, spit it out. She was like, yeah, I heard about this Mr. Chocolate guy that you're messing with, Phaedra. Um, like Peter told me. And, P and Phaedra was like, well, you need to check your facts and check your husband because he doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. Okay, I'm not sleeping with no Mr. Chocolate. And, you know, these are text messages from Apollo. Mm -hmm. The same way he lied about, apparently, the text messages between him and Kenya. And, of course... Why does she have to say Kenya? That just gives Kenya the opportunity to jump in. She's going to jump in anyway. It's just what she does. Makes good TV. And Kenya jumps in. She was like, no, yes, you did. And who's Mr. Chocolate? How would you know? Hmm. He's the man you're sleeping with. Long behold, Fedra gets up. She takes her clutch and she gets ready to pop Kenya. But she thinks about it. She was like, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm not going to do it. I know I'm not. I'm going to put it in the hands of the Lord. And I'm going to go on. That's what I'm going to do. So she goes on and, and Portia and Nene takes Phaedra outside. Portia and Nene going on about the fact that Candy didn't get up first simply because it's her best friend. Look, Candy got her own shit going on. Um, her and, and her, Candace and, 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 Por and Phaedra's relationship will always be stronger than anybody's on the show. That's just what it is. They're real friends. Um, real friends go through shit. And, you know, Candy's going through her own shit. She can't be bothered with what's going on at Apollo's house. Honestly, and it's just a real tea, but obviously they're real friends. Um, the girls are sitting around talking about it. They're in two separate groups, of course. It's, um, uh, cause shit, y'all know who it is. So, anyway, the pretty girl gang come out and talk to the other girls. The rich bitches, I guess. Um, and they talk to them, and pretty much Nini and, and Kenya is going back and forth. They have their little exchange and all that moments and all that jazz, and Nini actually made a lot of sense. Um, Kenya brought up the fact that you called everybody a whore, and then Claudia as well, you called me a whore. But she basically, Nini was trying to call out Cynthia, and then they basically took it up. That happens often. And so she was just like, um, no, I apologize to her. You apologize when you're wrong and this and that. Phaedra had nothing to say. Um, I do understand why Kenya would get upset and have something to say about this, simply because Phaedra did kind of give her hell. But also, Kenya brought some of that on herself because she played into the lie. If you just wouldn't have played into it, it probably wouldn't have been this bad. But honestly, it doesn't matter if Kenya gives, um, bakes Phaedra a peach pie at this point. She just don't like her. And that's just as simply as that. I mean, if Phaedra, it doesn't matter. If Phaedra doesn't like Kenya. Kenya can do whatever. Kenya can, can give to the United Negro Phaedra Fund. And she still wouldn't like Kenya. She just don't like her. It's just a personality thing. It is what it is. Um, if I baked you a peach pie, you will still hate on me, hater. I'm Mr. Chilaki. 
Mr. Chilaki on Google Plus. Follow me at It's King's World on Twitter. Chase King was here on Facebook and all that jazz. The reason why I'm talking so fast is because the girls only got 15 minutes to talk. And y'all know that I'm a talker. Most of my videos, especially on my reviews, usually be between like 15 to 30 minutes long. Sometimes more if I have more to say, but I don't. And um, yeah, I'll talk about that in another video, but I have to go. Darling, I'm back. I'm doing the best that I can. Got some more reviews to catch up on and all that. I love you. Subscribe, like, comment, at It's Kingsborough, all that. Love you. Bye.